What is up everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Happy Tuesday, July 21st. We have so much to go over, so many pieces of exciting news, new developments, and it is only 7 a.m. Today's gonna be a good day, people. As always, let's check the price. XRP is currently sitting at 0.199. It's today the day that we finally break past 23 and start the bullish movement. Time will tell. I don't know. I hope it is. But as I told you, 20 cents, there is major, major, it looks like manipulation going on to keep it under 20 cents. But once we can break past 23 and hit about 23, we are going to move. Mr. Van Winkle is still bullish as all hell. The bear market has come to an end. It is time for XRP to make us a little money. All right, Bitcoin, nothing exciting, 9,300, who cares? Let's get into the news. It is action packed. Up first, this was today, the Federal Registry, the Daily Journal of the United States government. This act has come into effect as of today, July 21st, 2020. For those of you looking at the screen, here is the date. So what is this? Why is this so important? I'm going to tell you why. So as we scroll down, as part of this act, it is going to allow for these remittance companies to identify how much money someone is going to receive and who is the cheapest. This act that is coming into effect as of today to remittance transfers on the electronic fund transfer act regulation e plays right into ripple's hands this is absolutely fantastic let's just read a couple pieces of this they thus asserted that adopting the exceptions as proposed would harm consumers by limiting the protections and benefits they receive from the rule, including the ability to know precisely how much money a recipient will receive, the ability to accurately identify the cheapest provider, and access to full error resolution protections when the amount received is different from the amount disclosed. These consumer groups suggested that the borough should withdraw its proposed proposal in its entirety and instead consider ways to expand the ability of the EFTA's protections for remittances. So as we come further down and we do a quick little search for the old word Ripple, what do we find? We find that the Bureau has mentioned Ripple directly. Very interesting. Let's read point three. The continued growth and expanding partnerships of virtual currency companies such as Ripple, which offer both a payments message platform to support cross-body money transfers as well as a virtual currency XRP which can be used to affect settlement of those transfers and they link out to the MoneyGram partnership. These developments suggest that in the future there may be means by which banks and credit unions could reduce their reliance on estimates but there are limits on a degree to which developments can solve the problem. All of the developments apply elements of a closed network payment system to cross-body money transfers sent by banks and credit unions. As discussed in part two above, in a closed network payment system, a single ent entity generally exerts a high degree of end-to-end -end control over a transaction. This control gen generally facilitates standardizations and uniformity over terms, conditions, and processes to which participants and a closed payment system must adhere. So what are we hearing here? Well, it's pretty simple. They bring up Ripple, they talk about the partnership with MoneyGram, and they also talk about how you can solve the problem of not only not enough money getting to where it needs to go because of all the hidden fees that you don't know about, but it can also solve the problem of speed to move money, and it can help out on cost estimates cost estimates is a huge thing because what happens sometimes is someone needs to get fifty dollars over to say mexico so they send 60 hoping that that ten dollars is going to cover the fee the time the money gets there it's only about 40 because there was an extra hidden ten dollar fee somewhere in there so this estimate is going to help out tremendously this come this act comes into effect today it is on the federalregister.gov website 
It is called the Remittance Transfers Under the Electronic Fund Transfer Act Regulation E. And this was put out by the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau last month, June 5th, people. This is huge. This is big time. It is the final rule. It is effective as today. Let's see what comes from this. Let's keep it going. Up next from Mike Manfield at Michael Manfield. In 2017, SmartStream did a proof of concept with Ripple. SmartStream integrated its liquidity management solution to take the payment off the block and updated its solution with a trans transactional balance and validate the position of the block itself. So we jump over to the article from Finextra. SmartStream launches platform for intraday liquidity stress testing on demand. This was posted just an hour ago. Why is this so important? I'm going to tell you why, people. XRPRightNow.com. Make sure you check it out. Our lovely website, brand new design, less as easy to read. Boy, she is a beauty. But we posted this article last year, April 5th, 2019. SmartStream. So SmartStream is a global software and managed service provider that challenges market conditions, blah, blah, blah. They have over 1,500 customers, right? Here's the juicies. In 2017, SmartStream did a proof of concept with Ripple. SmartStream integrated its liquidity management solution to take the payment off the block and update its solution with a transactional bounce and validate the position of the block itself. SmartStream president has stated that they are working with a major provider. Let me say that again. The SmartStream president has stated they are working with a major provider provider to allow cross-border trades who do you think this major provider might be they're only testing ripple and now they have announced or they announced last year that they are working with a major provider for cross-border trades swift takes hours or even days with this new system it only takes three to four seconds and it's guaranteed who does it sound like people here are some direct quotes. Daryl Twiggs, who is the SVP, the Strategic Initiatives at Financial Transition Lifestyle Management Solutions provider of SmartStream, stated, SmartStream is looking to launch its offerings next year. Obviously, that was pushed out just a tiny bit because it happened. Well, I guess it is next year, 2019, 2020. Perfect. So for Twiggs, this is the most definitely the right time. Twiggs also commented, and for those who are you not looking at the screen, this is a direct quote. We are over the hype that was generated by cryptocurrencies. All the central banks have made a statement in terms of regulatory jurisdictions and have also produced reports in the last six months and how they view blockchain as an operating network. They're in favor of it. SmartStream is telling you central banks have produced reports. Obviously, these reports, me and you have not seen. We don't really know about them, but SmartStream is telling you central banks put out reports on blockchain on crypto and they are in favor of them we already noticed though because central banks are building central bank digital currencies that are all going to be interoperated by the xrpl people let's keep going we have followed out with the team of blah 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 you don't care about that all right so listen we're going to play this for you we're going to start at minute 20 we're going to go about, about three minute mark have a listen to what is being said in this interview with the SmartStream CEO. Here we go. Just to make sure that we can give them a holistic view of what their, their cash is. Uh, the other thing is um, cryptocurrencies. Um, so we we are working with a, a major provider to allow them us to actually look at uh, cross-border trade, trades, not a cryptocurrency, but a blockchain to actually facilitate that. So instead of using Swift, we are, we, where it could take hours to see a transaction or a day, it could happen within seconds, uh, within three to four seconds. That yen to dollar trade can now happen because it's on a, it's on a chain and it's going cross border and it's, uh, and it's guaranteed by, a, um, by other currencies to avoid some of the regulatory issues that happens when you do those trades. Um, so all of that is being incorporated into cash management as we speak. Let's just break that down a little bit. Um, 
But in terms of sort of cash management and liquidity, it sounds very strange. But why is that a thing? Why do banks need to worry about their their cash management? What happens if they if they don't focus on it? Uh, it's called two thousand eight. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and if you're in this industry, every that's the year that lives in infamy. Again, it's because they have positions in cash and all these different systems, and they need to be able to look at them from a single point of view. Because, um, let's say, for instance, you have a company and you have two sub companies, and you've taken out a loan for a million, and those two sub companies have taken a loan for a million, and that's a three million dollar, um, and you have to make a payment. Let's call it hundred thousand dollars every month and um, they for whatever reason use those loans to do something with it and they're expecting a hundred thousand dollars now you multiply that by some number and if 50% of you don't make that payment then they can't use that cash to meet their requirements down so downstream so it's very important that they know how much cash they actually have in hand versus how much they have to pay out at the end of the night all right, let's cut it there. So as you heard from the CEO himself, not Mr. Van Winkle's words, but they are working with a major provider. Then we get the article today that SmallStream launched a platform for interday liquidity stress testing on demand. As we scroll up into the article, SmallStream integrated its liquidity management solution to make its payments off the blocks and they update its solution with a transactional balance and validate the position on the block itself. This was all done in a proof of concept with Ripple back in 2017, and that is go has gone live as of today. Are they using Ripple? My guess is as good as yours. 99.9% .9 say yes. That 1.1%, they say no because you're always going to have that doubter. But they did a proof of concept with Ripple. That is the only proof of concept that I found that was talking about launching a platform for intraday liquidity testing and stress testing on demand. So we keep moving. Here's an article. This is from Smart Streams website from 7 9 2018. They talk about the proof of work that they did with Ripple. Last year, it did a proof of concept with Ripple. It integrated its liquidity management solution to take the payment off the block and updated its solution with a transactional bounce and validate the position of the bounce itself. So once again, it integrated its liquidity management solution. What went live today? SmartStream, the financial lifecycle management solutions provider today announced the launch of an intraday liquidity stress te testing mod model, part of the TLM cash and liquidity management suite of products. We're not done, people. We hop over. Bank, XRP, everyone knows who he is. July 18th, 2019. Here's a video from Stephen Depp, uh, Stephen Deep. Says it was unannounced partnerships. Smartstream works with Ripple for a blockchain messaging proof of concept in the past, and it succeeded. It is a minute long. I don't need to play it for you. It's the same old spiel that you just heard. They're working with a major provider. They did a proof of concept with Ripple. Proof of concept was fine and dandy. And then what does it all lead to? It leads to today. As of one hour to go, Smartstream has finally launched a platform for intraday liquidity stress testing on demand. This is RippleNet. I don't care what you say. I don't care what SmartStream admits. There is no doubt about it. That's why they're in the proof of concept. That's why they're working with a major provider. This is it, people. Let's keep going. Up next, from Michael at Val5Links, Standard Charter to launch institutional crypto custody solution. We hop over to the article from Coindesk. Let's have a quick read. Allison Mason, the head of Standard Charter's Ventures, confirmed to Coindesk Monday that the firm is building what he claimed would become one of the most secure crypto custodian solutions on the market. Manson said as many as 20 institutions have expressed interest in the custodial solution. Although it will be based in the UK, it will be open to clients from around the world, as well as assets such as Bitcoin. SE Ventures is looking at also making the solution suitable for security tokens. So this is massive. Standard custody is no one to mess with. And now they are building out a crypto custody platform. Interesting, right? Because just... Last year, 
Kahina Van Dyke left Ripple to take the role of global head digital channels and client data analytics at Standard Charter. Do we think that uh, Ms. Van Dyke is going to have a, a role in Standard Charter's cryptocurrency solution for the institutions? Of course she is. Do you think they're going to list XRP? Of course they're going to list XRP people. Let's keep going. Up next from Michael again at Bow Five Links. This is very, very fascinating. Listen up. Japan's largest banking firm, Mitsubishi UFJ Financial Group, is set to issue a digital currency in the second half of this year. That is about hmm, four months, five months away. Mitsubishi MUFG going to release a digital currency. The cryptocurrency will be issued in collaboration with Recruit Group, a major Japanese holding firm that operates restaurants, finding services, hot pepper gourmet. The digital currency will be initially utilized in a smartphone payments app for member companies listed on Recruit's website. Recruit has around 1 million member stores. The firm is the parent company of JobSeeker site Indeed and an employer review site Glassdoor. Kamawazi said there could be delays. It may be a good time to launch digital currency in light of the coronavirus pandemic. In December 19, MUFG downplayed reports of a digital currency launch. Isn't that funny, everyone? MUFG says we don't can we don't want a digital currency. No one's going to use it. Why should we launch one? And what are they doing? They are launching one this year. It's not you have to. I'm going to mess this saying up, but you know what I'm saying here. You don't listen to what they say. You do what they're not doing. Something like that. But whatever they tell you, you don't believe them. They lie to you. They lie straight to your face and then boop. All they have to do is say, oh, sorry. Yeah, we actually did do it. And everything is forgotten. This is what Jamie Dimon did. He said, Bitcoin sucks. I hate Bitcoin. If any of my employees are doing anything on Bitcoin, they will be fired. At that same time, what was Jamie Dimon doing? Buying the hell out of Bitcoin, people. Do not listen to them. They're all liars. They want to line their own pockets. They don't care about me. They don't care about you. But Mr. Van Winkle cares about you. That is why he's putting out this information. MUFG, guess what else? They also are on Ripple's Global Steering Committee. Isn't that interesting? But now you must be thinking, well, if MUFG is making their own coin, they're not using XRP. Listen, all these companies, banks, central banks can make their own coin. It doesn't do us any good because we are still in the same place that we are today. Nothing is interoperable. But XRP is a bridge currency and everything will run through the ledger. So all these coins will become interoperable. It's as simple as that. So you take your little MF, MUFG coin, you shoot it on over through the XRP ledger. Boof, it comes up on the back end to Mr. Van Winkle's coin. Boom, interoperable. That's how it's going to work. XRP bridged it. XRP's price will go to the moon at some point. You just need to hang in there. As I have said in the past, you can hold your retirement for 30 plus years and not complain about it one bit. But you can't hold XRP for longer than a week without complaining about the price. Forget about the price. Check on the price in a couple of years and let's see where it goes. You don't want to be that guy that sold early and you don't want to be that guy that sold too late. You want to be that guy that sells when it is hot and when we are at a price point where there is no return people. Anyway, sorry for my little rant, but back to the slide. Here's MUFG's digital strategies. This was from Bank XRP in 2018. What do they talk about here? XRP. Participate in next generation settlement network led by Ripple Inc. The US based Ripple has developed a new technology that enables the development of a global transfer network and expected to provide a settlement solution for future generations. Along with the message and fun functions, the resulting transfer network will boost real time transfer and settlement capabilities thanks to the application of blockchain related cutting edge technologies. So, as I just told you, MUFG can make their own coin, but it is going to go through the ledger. Everything will go through the ledger. It is all of the money, people. All of the money. All right, so a couple key takeaways before I let you go. Keep an eye on Smartstream and Ripple. 
This is huge. I am going to reach back out to them, try to dig up some more information. Keep an eye on this federal register document from the U.S. government about the remittance transfers on the Electronic Fund Transfer Act to Regulation E. Let's also keep an eye on the price of XRP that is hovering at 0.199 as we want to break that 20 cents mark. I believe it is coming and it is coming very, very soon, everyone. Listen, that's going to do it for me. Oh, I have a surprise. Hopefully, I can put it out tonight. I have a very exciting video for those of you who are still here towards the end about the Central Bank of France and what they are doing with a central bank digital currency, people. That is right. Listen, like, share. Please subscribe. Let's get past 5,000 subscribers this month. Only nine days. I don't know if we can do it. I hope we can do it. We're going to find out. Wash your damn hands. Ripple Van Winkle is out.